Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. What is MLOps? So MLOps is just like uh, which you heard about DevOps, but MLOps is a set of practices which will aim to deploy and maintain ML models in production with reliably and efficiently using machine learning, DevOps and data engineering. So because it is not like a data scientist only can work out and uh, productionize a ML model as a data scientist. So before, before this MLOps principles came into picture, I think every data scientist who are uh, in this forum may, may have experienced some difficulty to productionizing the models. You might have used different tools to communicate your results once after you like uh, developed your model. And uh, when coming to MLOps, this is a set of practices how we usually use in DevOps, which is a set of practices. But MLOps also is a set of practices which will help to uh, deploy your machine learning models in production uh, with the help of uh, like uh, DevOps and uh, data engineering. But here the main key thing is like the teams will be different. When you usually uh, uh, try to deploy a model or integrate your uh, results with any, for example, product or application, so usually as a data scientist, we need to interact with either data engineering team or either DevOps or uh, operations team. So usually the operations team may not have knowledge about machine learning. At the same time, data engineering also may not have. And uh, data scientists usually does not uh, like, uh, which, which I usually observe, like even me. So as a data scientist, I used to focus only on developing the model, finding the model and trying to focus more on my model results and trying to do some hyperparameter tuning and how to in improve the model's uh, performance and uh, accuracy or whatever it is. Because I don't have any like, like uh, DevOps knowledge or set like other people, right? So how uh, DevOps or operations people will be there. So what I <coughs> thought is like, why can't we go and uh, in interact or in integrate uh, the DevOps practices with machine learning and also why can't we go and automate the data pipelines which we usually use for our, our machine learning model and why can't we go and uh, automate uh, the machine learning pipeline so which usually in DevOps how uh, the delivery will be happen like with, with using CI CD so so here I can also say like ML, MLOps is the process of taking an experimental machine learning model into production system. We all agree about this because usually we we do so many experiments in, in our, for example, a Jupyter Notebook or, uh, or in our Spider or PyCharm, wherever it is. We do multiple experiments because our end goal is like to like improve our model's performance and our uh, like uh, accuracy. And we do so many experiments and we add some features, we select some important features and we try to exclude some features, we add some data, we will train our model and we try to like uh, test the model and also once uh, the results are not up to the mark, we do some hyperparameter tuning with respect to my model. So these are all like just like experiments, right, which we do like is more than once. So during this experimental uh, uh, machine learning, what we do like finally we'll conclude with one model so this model has given me the best results and uh, we try to integrate that model with the like uh, our like uh, product or or with the dashboard or whatever it is we prepare some like a uh, presentation layer and we'll try to present to the uh, client so during that phase we need to anyway go and uh, deploy in production so we have so many methods in uh, like uh, usually in, in like uh, which industry is practicing. So before I, I, I started working on ML apps, I used to like uh, integrate my results with some, uh, I can say like I used to prepare, prepare a PPT or I used to 
create a, a, a web interface, for example, if you go and see in Python, when I was not uh, fair enough to communicate my results with the client, so I used to think about what is the better way. So every time I used to think about uh, uh, how can I my improve my uh, the way of uh, deploying uh, my ML models into production. So I started using uh, Dash to develop uh, the web interface and I used to like integrate my model results with that web interface and uh, the web application. And then I started using uh, Flask for some time. So where I used to create some uh, serverless API and uh, I was using Flask for some time and Heroku. So, so I used, so, so these are like tools which will help us to like deploy the ML models. But uh, at the same time, I was thinking about how can we go and uh, follow this uh, DevOps principles in ML ops. Then I did some research and I started exploring this uh, about this ML ops. And I found that this ML ops is a combination of, as I mentioned like machine learning, DevOps and data engineering. So as I am, I came up uh, from a data engineering background. So now I, I am able to like create my own data pipelines or else I can reach out the person who is working as a data engineer to help me to create a, the automated data pipeline using CI CD. And if I go and see machine learning side, we, I can create my ML pipeline and I can automate the pipeline. Plus I need to have a mechanism to implement DevOps and uh, containerize or I can say like I can package my ML model into one package and I need to make that should be available and uh, work same way in all the environments. So this is just like how we follow in CI CD. If you are not familiar with CI CD like uh, DevOps and all, I will explain you. But for the time being, please understand that ML ops is a combination of machine learning, DevOps and data engineering. There should be a proper coordination between each and every team and it should, it should be, we should have a culture like everybody have uh, a, an, an understanding of each team, uh, what each team is doing and uh, we, we should create a culture or a platform like uh, where everybody uh, will understand what they are doing and there should not be any gap between the teams. And it should be a continuous process, I can say. So this is like, what is ML Ops? Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.